To live off the land not only requires us to understand our origins, but to also understand the current state of our land. Our land is no longer of great abundance. Long ago, natives abandoned primitive tools in favor of modern metal traps because they work much better than the versions they had been using. In recent time, delusions about living off the land have sparked a new breed of people whom have adopted primitive methods in hopes of producing a living from the land. However, these tools have been repeatedly proven to be insufficient in producing enough food to warrant building them in the first place. This has reduced survivalists to nothing more than starvalists, or if you prefer, starvivors. A starvivor is someone who goes into wild places intended to survive and even thrive, but does not equip themselves with sufficient tools and equipment necessary to provide the nutrition to meet their daily caloric requirements. Instead, the starvivor, or starvalist, will burn through their fat reserves obtained from modern sources and then escape back into modern life. This person believes that they are surviving and even thriving without putting together basic meals so long as they last one week, one month, or a couple of months while losing massive amounts of body weight throughout the ordeal. While they are applauded for their efforts, working silently in the background is our innate ability to cannibalize our own body for energy. The starvalist is busy. He makes shelters, builds tools, even catches a few fish, a bird, snake, or mouse, or a squirrel. But is this enough to make a living? Is it enough to nourish an active body? A starvalist or starviver believes that using modern gear such as guns, fishing rods, lures, metal animal traps including body grips and snares made with metal cable wire, modern cordage, tents, sleeping bags, lighters and so forth are not necessary in order to thrive in nature. But what is being accomplished in this primitive endeavors? Nothing. Anyone can fast. It takes no particular skill. We're all born to waste away without food. A starvalist will often go barefoot and naked into nature. They may bring a knife and a ferro rod, picture wire for snares, paracord and trap building, with some fishing line hooks or even a safety pin. But overall, they would prefer to rely on primitive tools and techniques, such as friction fire, gorge hooks, primitive cordage, various primitive deadfall traps and trigger and tension traps, and fish funnel traps or baskets, even though they are insufficient to return what they cost to build and operate. A starvival will insist that their techniques work, given a very narrow set of ideal conditions of course, and do not burn more than they cost to build. However, this assertion has never been proven, and no survivalist has demonstrated that their primitive traps are effective enough to consistently and effectively feed a person. More to this, people believe that obtaining food from the land is a given, that since their ancestors did it, we too can do it, but this isn't so. With every survival experiment conducted thus far, people have returned lighter and less healthy than when they began. Our world is of less natural abundance than ever before, and our knowledge about wild food stuff is at an all-time historic low. Living off the land indefinitely, even with modern tools, is a very tall order and something worthy of pursuit, if only to reclaim the knowledge that we have lost. This boy's actually fun to shoot.